got um, Clay Hunter with HR, I believe. Oh, yeah. I've spoken to him before yeah. on the phone. Clay, can you hear us okay? Okay. Okay. I wanted to talk to you and come to a resolution with where we are. Mm -hmm. um, come to a resolution today. I uh, wanted to kind of recap everything that's happened. Uh, one is that in July, I let you know that you weren't ready to be a GM, but I didn't want anything to happen to you. That I wanted to make sure that you understood that I valued you as an employee, and I wanted to make sure that you, you know, stayed with us and had a good career here. Mm -hmm. And that no matter what happened with performance or anything like that, that I would make sure that nothing happened to you you know, long term. So then I let you know that, you know, I would put you in to make sure that you're paid um, as the GM here, because you would, the other choice would be, you know, working extra hours, mm -hmm. doing a lot of extra things, and not really getting any, you know, real compensation for that. Right. And I didn't want that to happen. So I wanted to make sure that you got the GM bonus. So I put you in as a GM so that you could be paid as a GM. And then in August, I came back around and let you know that I still had the same opinion, that you were not ready to be a GM, did the follow-up with you with the audit, um, and let you know that I still, you know, I didn't want anything to happen to you. I reminded you of the conversation that we had before, and I told you that, you know, the issues in the audit and things like that, I didn't want you to feel bad about at all. You know, I wrote them in the audit just because they were there, um, but I wasn't blaming that on you, you know, at all. So we had that conversation. So now where we are is the position that we have for you is to go back to SM and Hiram. And I wanted to have Clay here with us to answer any questions that you might have with that. Right, well, I guess my thing is like, you know, I was saying in the email that I don't understand why. Like I was promised training, I was promised development while in the GM role and like, I've just been forgotten, and then you came into the August audit. Everything on there was, like I said, accounted for and corrected. I was never shown. For the most part, when I was here, that one month with Joel, you know, he was ready to get out. He didn't really train me a lot. So yeah. I was brand new to Georgia. I didn't know anything. Right. And so, you know, a lot of the stuff, I just needed to be shown to do it right. Well, you need to be developed to be a GM, you know, not just shown how to do particular tasks. Uh, one of the things that you had trouble with in the beginning was the repo process, but that's more of just a process and a task. So we got that, you know, resolved right away. Um, there was no way to know that Chuck was going to, you know, leave or go on leave and ultimately not be here. Right. So when I tell you, you know, you know, I'll send somebody to help you, it wasn't so that you could uh, be a GM necessarily right now, but I do want to continue to develop you and I, I do want you to have the opportunity to grow and improve your leadership and be in a GM role one day where you can be you know, successful. Um, when I came back in August, I brought two GMs with me to make sure that you had a full day of you know, training. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand, um, but there's, there are certain things that I can do. There are certain things that I can't do that are you know that just won't work so with Chuck leaving it kind of it kind of messed that part up but ultimately um, the plan was for you to go back to SM and continue to develop your skill set until you can run a store and then you even asked me at that time when I go back to SM which store would it be in because we had hired a new SM and I assured you that I would make sure that it was this store that you wouldn't be going to a different store to go back to SM. So that's where we are today, is that you go back to the SM role. Yeah. And when we talked last time, you said that you wanted to leave and that you were gonna give me a notice and just work until you, know, you got paid. So I just wanted to see what your decision was. Yeah, well, I definitely don't want to move back down to SM, but then you know, I also, I thought about it, and I, then, like, there's no really grounds to have, like, I don't want to leave because, you know, I've invested a year and a half sure. into Title Max, and, yeah. um, like, I, like I said in my email also, like, I've had no direction, but I've also had no write-ups, no corrective action, like, my store, my big rocks are clearing up, 
and then you know another GM's gonna swoop in here and take credit for what I've been building up to like I finally feel like I got my head above water now that you know I've got Rand here to help me coach me mm -hmm. um, yeah everything that that you've done you've been compensated for so you've been paid I'm not like I'm not even done. worried about the money part you keep talking money 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 that's not mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little bit of a motivation, but, you know, being more successful and, like, growing, not getting pushed back to the store manager role that I was stuck in for a year. Because when I started Title Max, I applied for the GM role. Mm -hmm. And I, whenever I transferred over here, I wanted to be put into training. That didn't happen. When I was still in Alabama, I wanted to be, you know, trained to be a GM. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen. And so then I'm finally promoted, and it's like, you know, I'm kind of make, getting the store under my belt now, and we're on the up and up, and, you know, it's just like, well, you can leave or you can be demoted. No, I didn't say leave. You you said leave. Leave I or be demoted. I simply told you that you're going back to SM, which I don't consider a demotion. Now, I'll let you know that that's the role that you were in. But it's not the role that a, I want to be. Right, but it, lots of people don't want to be in the role they're in doesn't mean that they are ready or that they're promoted into those roles just because that's what they want. So a lot of part of your development is to have somebody here with you every day that can help you develop your leadership skills and things like that. And what I would expect from you is that you work closely with your general manager that comes in here and that you have a good attitude toward the company and toward your new GM and continue to focus on developing your skill set. Well, I guess my thing is, so am I voluntarily going to go back to store manager or am I fired? Clay, I'm not sure about. Do you want to clarify that question? I don't know. Like I'm not going. I'm not going to go back to the store manager. Like that's. Not, I'm not. Like ready. I don't want to do that. So if I don't accept that, am I just going to get fired? Well, I mean, you would. I mean, that's the decision that's been made, and you you would be moved back into that role. So I mean, if you. Um, so what's my uh, other what's my other option that we're at other than voluntarily going back down to store manager. Well, that, that is the only option. Otherwise, it, I mean, if you, you would have to make a decision based on that. Uh, so I, decision, make a decision based on that fact. So I would be terminated if I don't take that. If you don't take it or if you don't work, then, then yeah, if you don't, but if you then show back up to do that role, then yeah. I mean, it, it would be based on... Um, either, yeah, you know, uh, job abandonment or some other form of uh, separation. Okay. I, it's still a little unclear. Well, what's happening is that you're moving back into the store manager role. If so, I don't take that option. Well, the only way you wouldn't take that option And I don't be, voluntarily quit. Yeah, the, you're going to be in the SM role because the paperwork is going to be done. You're going to be moved into that role. So you are going to be in the SM role. That's what I was telling you on Monday and yesterday is that you're going to be in that role. And then you said that you were going to leave. So, so I'm being I demoted. You, I saw I'm leaving. being demoted without my willingness or consent. You're being moved back into the store manager position. That is the decision that was made to move you back into the store But I'm not agreeing position. to that. Right, I understand you're not agreeing, but that's what's happening. That is what's happening. So you would report to work, and you would become you would be the SM, and it would be effective this Thursday. So I wouldn't get any bonus for November that I've worked for. Or you're going to be paid on November the twenty second. Yeah, I get the store manager. No, on November twenty second, you would get the GM bonus. Yeah, but that was for, for October. October. Right. So, but in December, November's just. Right, you get the SM bonus in December or November. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to think about it because I just don't think that's right that I'm not, like, I'm not accepting being moved back down. I'm not accepting the demotion. And you're not terminating me, so I'm but not. It's not a demotion. I, think, I, mean, I mean, that's the kind of uh, point I wanted to kind of make. It, uh, the plan all along has been to return to the SM role, so um, it's just a, a re resumption of the original um, original plan. I wasn't under that assumption. I didn't 
sign any paperwork to that fact. I was under the assumption I would be moved up, be developed, and, you know, if not this store, maybe move to, like, a lower volume store. Um, That's still a possibility for the future. But you have, but you have to get your we have to get your skill set where where you're able to but like run I'm, a store and be successful. I can't tell you when. I can't tell any store manager when they are going to be promoted until I see that they are ready to be a GM and be successful long term, and that they're able to sustain uh, results and they're able to carry a business forward for a long period of time. And when we're able to make that determination is when we let somebody know that that they are promotable and that that is going to happen. But I can't tell you today when that would be. That would be impossible for me to to know that. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not comfortable right now with, you know, being forced back down into a lower role. Um, I don't know. I need, I guess, time to think, time to get some other advice. Um, I guess that's kind of where I'm at. So you said it'll be Thursday? It's, it's effective Thursday, so there's not any, there's not any additional time. I mean, the decision's been made. Um, so effective this Thursday, you'll be the SM here if you decide to stay. So that, I mean, Clay, I, that, I mean, that's in the handbook. I can just be move back down at will? Right, I mean, Georgia is a at will state, so um, that is a, um, we have the ability to do that. Um, so, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess that is what it is. Um, it's been a terrible year and a half, but it is what it is. Okay, did you have any other questions? Nope. Okay, so it'll be effective Thursday morning when you report here, you'll be the SM in position on Thursday. And again, my expectation of you would be that you work with the GM and that you have a positive attitude when you 